morning. How are you today? It's nice of you to join me. Uh, it's, been a, it's been a good morning so far. I'm the only one up this early and figured I'd bring you episode number two. Uh, today we're going to discuss something that's, well, to be honest with you, very near and dear to each one of our rears. And that, my friends, is the good old toilet paper. Toilet paper has become kind of a commodity these days, a, a highly traded or regarded commodity with the COVID-19 going on. And uh, it's kind of sad, but you walk in the grocery stores and those shelves are bare. So when you come across a roll, you, you kind of grab it and, and then you make it last as long as you can. Uh, but, you know, you do what you, you got to do. Uh, I want to discuss the differences in toilet paper today and what makes one maybe a better toilet paper than others. And then there might be a few little uh, tips and tricks along the way. Okay? So to start off, we're going to look at maybe what you would prefer to use. We're going to take this two-ply mega roll. Now, what makes it a two-ply? There's actually two individual sheets of TP on every sheet. And they're perforated and they're stuck together. Now, I don't know how many sheets are in this roll, and I just know that it's a big roll. Um, and what makes it special is that it lasts a long time, or at least that's the idea, right? So you're not changing it out as often or buying as much as often. Uh, but... Little known fact is I understand that a single ply is actually a thicker uh, sheet of tissue than one of the single plies of the double tissue. So when you think about it, if you're very careful, the single ply might, might do the same thing and same trick that the double ply does with less paper. I digress. Anyways, double ply mega roll, not bad. And before I put that away for good, notice the wavy pattern. Now, I don't know if that's got intentions for traction, you know, to help do the business that it does. Uh, or if there's a reason, uh, if it's just a design thing, like maybe wavy patterns make you relax. I don't know. Number two on our list is a single ply. Now, this has some kind of little flowers and butterfly print on it. It's awful pretty. Maybe it makes somebody else feel better. I, I don't know. I don't know that it's going to have a much effect on the traction side of it. It is significantly smaller than the uh, double ply mega roll. The tissue is actually a little bit thinner. Okay. And it is, like I said, single ply. So... Things to think about here is if you're going to be doubling up on toilet paper, like pulling off three or four sheets and then folding it on top of itself, you're effectively creating a double ply out of a single ply. And that's okay, but you're going to burn through your single ply TP at a much, much quicker rate. Uh, or you're going to end up, if you don't double, if you, if you don't double wrap that, that single ply tissue paper before you do your business, you're going to end up washing your hands a whole lot more. And I would suggest go well beyond that 30 seconds and you better well use some really good soap because nobody needs to be on the other end of that handshake now or even after the coronavirus. All right. Next up is a double ply. It appears to be a mega roll. Uh, the problem here is that it's a little bit rougher. So there is a distinct difference between a double ply mega roll brand A and double ply mega roll brand B, okay? Uh, and this, like I said, is a double ply. It's got uh, some kind of little goofy uh, circle and flared edges that I, I don't get it. But um, again, I don't know that that would relax me in the bathroom or if it's just something to stare at, you know, if I'm, Unless you bring your newspaper in, there's not much to look at. 
Uh, God forbid you bring in your phone. That's kind of gross. Let me think about it because that you put that right next to your face later to talk to somebody. Just saying. Might not want to bring the phone in the bathroom. And then the the role that we've all, we all know, it's all near and dear to our heart when we have to have it, when we have to use it. When we're out and about and in retail stores, mega stores, and we want some professional butt wiping material. There's Scott's Professional. Now, Scott's Professional is not necessarily always found in your home because it it is likened to uh, toilet paper sometimes. Uh, it is also very thin, so it has a low threshold for torsion and uh, pressure. So it has a high rip factor. And I'm not talking about farts. I'm talking about a rip factor where you're wiping and it rips and you're going to have to spend a lot of time washing your hands. Uh, but when you're out and about and you need to take care of business, it's always nice to find a roll of this very, very, very light grade sandpaper on the roll in the stall. Um, just a few topics on toilet paper. Uh, I do know they used to print toilet paper in colors. Matter of fact, my grandma uh, used to have a little wooden stand. Now that stand is, is actually, I think my mother has it. But you would... Uh, you would find like light pink toilet paper, light blue toilet paper, pastel green toilet paper. And I believe in the early 90s, uh, the last company to print colored toilet paper uh, ceased printing those light style color paper. Now I do understand that there's a few rock stars out there, pop stars, high culture items, people, whatever, that do use specific colored toilet paper. I uh, read the other day that someone uses black toilet paper. Maybe that's because the contrast, you know, his business contrasts too much with the white. Maybe the black hides it. I don't know. Uh, and then there's Beyonce, who I think also uses a pink toilet paper. So there's that little known fact. Um, did you know that other parts of the world don't use toilet paper? I read that other parts of the world might use, you know, a cob of corn after they've uh, eaten the corn off. So that's kind of like a never-ending cycle. You eat the corn, you need to go to the bathroom, you take care of business with the cob, you chunk it out, you go buy new corn, you can eat again, and you can take care of business again. Maybe. Uh, people use leaves when they go camping. Just don't grab the poison ivy because... That would be a pain in the butt. <laughs> uh, yeah, so people use their hands. People, uh, God, ah, I hope it never comes down to that. But it, people in this world do that today. Uh, let's just hope they have some really good soap later. Uh, matter of fact, that's why most people don't wave. Um, that's why we started the handshaking with our right hands is because back way back before good old TP was made, uh, people use their left hand to clean themselves up, so they always shook hands with their right hand. I don't think if I ever got to time travel that I'd want to time travel back that far, because I bet that place, that just environment kind of reeked. I bet it was pretty smelly. Just an assumption. No research done. Um, you know, if it comes down to it and you're in the bathroom and you did bring your newspaper, I suppose you could use that. You know, get you back home. Get you back, uh, get you, you know, cleaned up enough to move on and over to the bathroom, wash your hands and out you go. Now, I don't think I would put this in the flushable category because all of the toilet paper we've discussed today is flushable. Uh, wipes, however, are not. That's the moist wipe towelettes. Paper towels, good substitute, not flushable. So unless you want to see your toilet paper a second or third time after you're done with it, I would suggest you uh, not put it down in the commode and flush it unless it's actual toilet paper. <laughs> uh, otherwise, you're going to be using one of these. That's not ever a good thing. 
So folks, just remember, relax. Everything's going to come out okay. Till next week, y'all have a good Saturday and a good weekend and a great week of COVID-19, stay-at-home, work, teach, whatever you do. And we'll talk to you later. Bye.